I'm with head coach Ling Nguyen of the Emory Cross Country team, and he's prepared to take his team into the UAE Championships at uh, Carnegie Mellon in uh, Pens Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at Shenley Park. Coach, how you been? Good, how about you? Doing pretty well, glad to hear it. What, if anything, do you think you can tell us about the uh, course you guys and women will uh, contend with? Uh, yeah, I can't really tell you much. Uh, I've never been there. Um, I know we do have a uh, freshman on the team, on the women's team, that raced there in high school, so she gave us a little bit of insight about it. Um, but I think the course is a little bit different than the 5K course, the uh, 6 and 8K. So, um, yeah, I've seen a map, but that doesn't really give you a whole lot. So right. we're going to preview it tomorrow, and we'll, we'll have a better idea after that. Okay. And now, essentially, the whole season has been somewhat of a tryout or a showcase for your runners to kind of push their way into uh, the top 10 to be selected to run in these type of championship affairs. Of course, you'll have your top guns of juniors, uh, Jack Whetstone and Susie Martin. But is there anybody that may not have been exactly on your radar when you arrived on campus and kind of just forced your hand into uh, letting them run in this? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think on the guy side, we have a few that, you know, are some of our top guys that maybe didn't... Uh, coming in didn't look like that or weren't there last year like Spencer Moore, um, John Marcus, those guys, you know, I don't think they made the UAA team last year and, you know, they're some of our top guys this year. Um, we have, I believe, three women making the trip. So, um, you know, you never really count on freshmen. You just kind of hope they come in and work hard and transition. Right. Um, so we have, you know, a few women on the trip as well. So I think that's kind of, uh, it's kind of cool to see them coming in and make an impact right away. Of course. And uh, the UAA is traditionally a strong cross-country conference. What do you think it means for your runners to be able to kind of match up against uh, some good paces going into NCAA or the regionals, which of course is what qualifies you for the NCAAs? Yeah, I mean, it, this is the best, probably on both sides, the best conference in the nation. You're looking at like four to five nationally ranked teams or more on each side. And so um, I, I think, it, you know, it, it it obviously steps the level up very quickly. Um, you know, this is obviously not as deep as our regional meet, but um, as far as like firepower, it's, it's harder. And so um, I think it's good for the team to get in there and get that as well as have that opportunity to maybe like score against some teams that could help us if we don't get an automatic qualifying spot in the regional. Maybe beating some teams at the UA could help us uh, get an at-large spot into nationals. Right, right. And uh, this will be the furthest your team has traveled this season to attend a meet. Is there anything that you guys do to kind of keep their legs fresh or not get, you know, scrunched up trying to be in a hotel or run a bus or plane with yeah. however you might travel? Well, you know, being in Atlanta is an advantage because we get direct flights everywhere. So, um, you know, it's going to be a short trip up to Pittsburgh. We'll be on the plane for like, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half and then out. And so um, that's a pretty big advantage as opposed to having to do uh, layovers and, you know, long travel days. Uh, you know, I think we'll leave here at like a little after nine, we'll be there by 11 and uh, that's it. So, um, you know, other than that, we're just kind of backed off a little bit of the hard work, um, try to freshen up in training a little bit and uh, make sure they're feeling good going into it. All right. Again, this has been head coach Ling Nguyen and uh, he's set to take his team into the UAAs in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which will be run at Shenley Park. Thanks coach. Thank you.